<laughs> Deer in the headlights. Hey, everyone. What's up? Happy Wednesday. National Signing Day for college football oh my recruits God. to sign the dotted line, Stab me which is pretty much how already. I've spent my morning. Yeah, um, it's really nice of Adam to be getting some work done. I've been working hard. I mean, it's recruiting, so I figure it's kind of job related. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. shout out. We just got Maurice Washington at running back. Go Big Red. Sorry. Oh, they have to know, know we're from is. Nebraska. I don't know who that is. The future of... Nebraska football, that's what that is. Yeah. Yeah. Bob Big Hanks, day. if you're listening, I'm sure you're probably not. You're probably watching, <laughs> watching the same stuff. National signing He's day. got time for a Facebook Live I know. today. It's actually in the side here. I'm still watching it while we're doing this. So. Oh, my uh, gosh. So we had a really fun question today. Um, it was, what's the craziest thing that's ever happened to you as a recruiter? So we've all had, like, crazy stories um, of – <laughs> things that have happened or travelers that we've worked with or candidates that we've worked with. And uh, I know that I've got a pretty untoppable story and I think Adam does too, which is even funnier. So I'll let no, you I share. Think yours is, I think yours is better, but I have a couple of things. First, I want to start off with a recruiter. Uh, and this happened, I don't know how long ago this was, but I heard a story <laughs> of a recruiter that actually had multiple travelers working contracts that were actually not real travelers. They actually were not working in the hospital. They were just made up people that they had fake documents and had timesheets that they were submitting. They were invoicing the hospital. Oh my God. The recruiter was being paid commission. <laughs> Don't do that. Yeah, how do you do that? So many, it raises so many questions to yeah. me. Like, how does that even happen? But so that's like a crazy story. And that's on the recruiter side that I've mm. actually heard. And, yeah. and some of you may have heard a similar story. Yeah. Um, but the other story, I've so this one's about one. a traveler. Actually, I had a traveler that was working a contract with me. Um, she was out in Alaska. Don't say where. No, I won't say where, but she was working in Alaska. I get a frantic call. It's sometime, I don't know, early afternoon. Um, she's crying and she's saying, you have to help me. They're accusing me of murdering my roommate. <laughs> and first of all, like, I, I'm not prepared for that. There's no I, amount of training. I don't know how you can Moxie be prepared for that. Otherwise, that's going to prepare you for handling so that. So as I stumbled through that conversation, she said, here is the, I think she said the constable. He's here with me now. He wants to talk to you. So I'm on the phone with this law enforcement person, and he's telling me that she's being accused <laughs> oh of murdering her roommate. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. So it was a traveler. How were this... they traveling with another traveler? Or... They were. So this person, they, they were in shared living quarters. Mm. And the other person who she was accused of killing was a traveler for another agency that just didn't wake <laughs> up. So long story short, after a lot of conversation and me actually trying to kind of help her with essentially getting some some legal oh help gosh. and assistance and guidance. Long story short, ended up finding out that the other traveler had died of natural causes and that there was no reason for there to be this murder investigation. Oh um, so she was wrongly accused of murdering her roommate, and we kind of worked through that. She ended up finishing the contract, but it wasn't a place that I ended up Staffing, staffing again. again after that experience. Yeah. So oh my God, that's the craziest right, thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Again, <clears throat> just to, for those of you who are just joining us now, uh, craziest stories that have ever happened to us as recruiters. Adam's traveler in Alaska was accused of murdering uh, their roommate in the middle yeah. of the night who ultimately just ended up dying of natural causes. Thank goodness. Right. has a happy ending. She, I mean, <clears throat> well, happy Good for the traveler, yeah. bad for yeah. the person who passed right. away. But uh, that is, yeah, again, there's nothing that can prepare you for that. So my craziest story, um, and I've shared this uh, with some of the 
teams that I've worked with. I'm um, excited to hear it again. I know <laughs> this story. And for those of you that I worked with at the time, we had uh, a good time with this story. So I worked with this uh, OR nurse um, who was obviously it was like an eight to five. They worked days. And so we would talk in the mornings and in the afternoons and he traveled with his <laughs> happy-ish ending. So we, uh, so he was working at a hospital for us. He traveled. I remember his name. He was traveling with his wife who was seven months pregnant and she was so kind and he was so kind and they were so great to work with. And, uh, about a month or so, maybe five weeks into his assignment, things started getting weird. Like we got a call from the extended stay that they were bringing down Tupperware um, and and like going to the buffet and filling up a bunch of Tupperware with stuff from the buffet um, to save for later. And uh, so that was kind of our first weird happening. Um, and then a day or two later, I get a call from him really early in the morning. And mind you, I'm in the Midwest and he was in California. So he was about two hours ahead of me. And it was probably seven o'clock California time. And he was probably getting ready to head out the door for work. And he calls me and he's like, Sherry, this is so-and-so. They're watching us. <laughs> so we proceed to have this 20 minute conversation about how he's running for president. And <laughs> Wait, um, your travelers he's getting, my for travelers <laughs> running for president yeah. and the FBI has been tracing him and they're tracking his calls and um, he's going to announce his run for presidency on the Greta Von Susteren's show on CNN that night. And, um, you know, it, it went on for 20 minutes and I, it was, I was newer. I was a newer recruiter at the time. And I kept looking around waiting for Ashton Kutcher or somebody to jump out with the camera. <laughs> <clears throat> but that never happened. So anyways, uh, I told him, I was like, you know, just be cool. You know, be cool. Just, just Keep it on the down low. I'll call work and tell them you're not coming in today. Just get some rest. Um, so I called the place where he was working and let him know that he wasn't feeling well and, you know, <laughs> that he was going to get the take the day off and, you know, ask some kind of questions. You know, how was he doing? Was there anything weird going on? And, you know, they, they didn't nothing was like really stand out to him that he was, seemed a little off for the last couple of days, but nothing that really stood out. Um, to them. Well, later that afternoon, uh, I got a call from the hotel um, that he was staying at and he was being um, taken off in a straight jacket um, because he um, was searching the hotel for a knife to give his pregnant wife a C-section. Um, and so crazy. really at the end of the day, it's horrible because he was um, schizophrenic and he was he had gotten off his medication um and, which had caused this series of events um but oh yeah again gosh. that's one of those things that it doesn't no there's no amount of training that could prepare you for that and yeah. that you really just have to that's be, the crazy part cool. of being a recruiter is that you yeah. really do sometimes deal with some of these bizarre right. situations because we're working with people and right. let's face it. I mean, some people have some, things well, going on and yeah, it, Sometimes hopefully it's they stay on their meds. Yeah. I mean, he right. was, when he was on his medication, he was fantastic. Um, he was a great traveler to work with and man, that went downhill sideways fast. fast. Yeah. yeah. So those were our crazy stories well, really want to know more about your crazy yes. stories i know some people may be a little hesitant to put that out but yeah. obviously don't use names don't use facility names yes. <laughs> but being as general as you can be share some of your stories we really want to hear what's the craziest thing that's happened to you as a recruiter and that can be on the recruiter side too yeah craziest things you've heard that recruiters have done yeah not just the craziest thing you've experienced with travelers. So we had some fun kind of thinking about this. There are many more stories mm -hmm. that we can tell in the future. Uh, <laughs> How much time do we have here? <laughs> <laughs> that we've heard or that we've yeah. experienced personally. So, um, but it, it's kind of fun, I think, to yeah. take a, a lighthearted approach to uh, Yeah, it was a some great question. Thank you happened. so much for asking. Yeah. And uh, keep your questions coming, please. We love it. Yep. And we will catch up with you guys soon. All right. Take care. Bye. Bye.